Shalom. Um, we read in the Parsha about uh, Eved Ivri and a lot of details about uh, slaves. And the obvious question is, uh, if it's not moral to have slaves, how does the Torah allow it? And uh, it's important to, to understand that the Torah is an eternal book. And usually we take that to mean that, uh, hey, it's still relevant today, even though it was given 3,300 years ago. But the truth is, eternity goes two ways. And uh, we have to remember that the Torah had to be relevant 3,300 years ago at the time it was given. Otherwise, our forefathers, who were living in a relatively uh, primitive world, they would have just said, hey, this Torah isn't relevant. In a world that uh, the agriculture was based on having cheap labor, and at the time it was called slavery, uh, we had no choice but to allow slavery. And um, what the Torah does is it tells us it educated us already 3,300 years ago when tra- slaves were treated like animals uh, that, no, slaves are people. They have tselem elokim. Uh, you have to treat them with respect. And uh, even if there's one pillow in the house, you give it to the slave and not to the master. If there's one last piece of cake, you give it to the slave and not to the master. In uh, Chazal summarize, they say, whoever buys a slave has bought a master for himself. And the idea is that there are three hats in which God runs the world. It's the same God, but he wears the hat of creator, and he created us with a conscience. He wears the hat of Torah giver, and he gave us these laws that little by little educate man to teach slaves, even slaves, with respect. And uh, the third hat is the God of history. So that when uh, Eli Whitney was able to... Uh, invent. God revealed him to invent the cotton gin. That's when Abraham Lincoln was able to free the slaves. And uh, this was the uh, the last uh, point that was necessary that mankind was ready to free the slaves. God always wanted there not to be slaves. But in a primitive world, that was the way the economy ran. And so this is true regarding a lot of things in the Torah. And so take this klal and apply it in a lot of places. Shabbat Shalom.